All right, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different, but I'm also very excited about it just because it is a huge part of who I am and my life. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about what I've learned in therapy. So I have been going to therapy for the last three years, but it really wasn't consistent until I would say October of 2022. You know, you always end up kind of coming out feeling a little bit better, at least for me. And so I, truly think my biggest takeaway with therapy is becoming more self-aware of myself and really how to cope and have the tools and resources to help me when i'm not doing so great mentally all right with that being said let's get started the first takeaway that i wanted to share is truly understanding what happened to me now what i mean by that is for all of us our nature and our nurture has made us who we are today i had convinced myself that there was something wrong with me and instead of asking what's wrong with me i changed that to now what happened to me something happened that made me who i am today i did not come out of the womb this way now that was a game changer in helping me navigate relationships and life a little bit more because i truly saw the world through a very hurtful lens and that impacted a lot of my relationships it impacted the way that i just felt confident with life and the way that i viewed myself and only now and it's still an ongoing journey am i able to truly flag myself and say okay this is a trigger what happened in the past that's made you react this way compared to writing myself off and saying what is wrong with me why am i doing this so that has just really allowed me to understand myself a little bit more be more self-aware okay so i feel like the second takeaway is i was able to expand my toolbox of resources when it came to regulating my emotions and feeling grounded when i was stressed the best way to say it is what you feel sometimes is not true it just is based on insecurities fears now your feelings are always valid one million percent but i don't think they're always reliable so through therapy some tools that i was able to take away were reverse the situation that truly has helped me significantly with processing my emotion and of course it's challenging at times but it truly has helped me with understanding that there is more than one way to view a situation more than one way to feel about a situation and altogether it just has helped me ask myself is this valid i think that's a big theme of what you're going to hear from me with this takeaway is truly understanding and asking myself i am valid to my emotions but am i able to rely on them right here right now the second one is for those who struggle with anger i used to be such a hothead and don't get me wrong i still fall short of it sometimes but something that has really resonated with me for my therapist is truly understanding that anger is a secondary emotion so now every time i feel angry how i go about it is taking a deep breath to kind of ground myself and then knowing that it's a secondary emotion, I ask myself, well, what is it that I'm actually feeling? And most of the time I'm able to pinpoint that it's not anger that I feel, it's either disappointment, sadness, frustration. And then once I'm able to get to that point, I can really find evidence to support, oh, I feel sad because of this reason. I feel frustrated because of those reasons. And that has helped me so much and i cannot thank truly therapy enough but ever since i've found that little tool i don't remember the last time i've like really blown up on anyone which is a beautiful thing for both parties now the third one is journaling i think that's such a simple tool that we hear all the time i think journaling is a lot like a relationship where there's so many ways to go about journaling everyone has a different method and it's truly finding what method works for you and for someone who's journaled the last five years it really wasn't until the last year that i really was able to hit this point and say holy fuck i get it now like i get why people journal i get what this does for you and such a great way to dump everything that you think everything that you feel onto paper and really see it for yourself is this true and then you kind of are able to see the way that your brain works on default and only by flagging how your brain works can you change it over time 
I realized pen to paper, it shows you that truly slowing down and understanding your thoughts is truly the only way to take control of your life and kind of really change it. Okay, so my last takeaway that I wanted to share is having control to rewrite definitions of labels and words that I thought I had to live by based on what was taught to me. So for as long as I can remember, I had to find love as if you love someone, you would never hurt them. And carrying that definition up until I was 21 caused me a lot of pain because whether that was platonic relationships or romantic relationships, I had convinced myself that this can't be love because if they did love me, they would never hurt me. The beauty of what therapy taught me is I'm able to flag how I define words and why is it that I define words the way that I do and then do I want to change them, which really now I have the freedom to redefine whatever I want to. And definitely now my definition of love is so different and when you take control of redefining these things for yourself, you can set clear boundaries, you can have more grace and understanding and you realize that a lot of what we know is based on what we were taught and so now I'm able to rewrite a life that I actually want for myself. Okay, so to wrap this up, I truly just wanted to say that I think everyone should feel inspired to find themselves, learn more about themselves and therapy is a great way to really accelerate that. I think what's so beautiful about therapy is it's so unique to each person and the hardest part is truly finding someone that just is compatible with you. There's no difference in finding compatible friendships or relationships. This is just another one of those. But when you do find it, it just unlocks a whole new world of exploration. And I truly would not be where I am today if it was not for therapy. And I continuously hope to be a better person, be a better friend, be a better daughter, be a better partner. And yeah, like I have nothing more to say there. I have rambled for the last hour, so I will see you in my next video.